I'm here to talk about um, a cl clinical trial that CIRM um, has invested in in HIV and AIDS, which is quite a journey we've taken since I've come onto this board. I do, but, but before I do that, I, I want to uh, uh, note um, Ian Sweetler has just told me that we have uh, signed a uh, MOU, a uh, co funding agreement with the AIDS Healthcare Foundation, which um, is an organization I think, I'm pretty sure, I, treats more patients than anybody else, HIV patients, than anybody else in the world. They run the Magic Johnson clinics. Uh, they really do an amazing uh, job in California and San Francisco and Los Angeles in treating patients. I want to specifically acknowledge Senator Torres, uh, who, who, who brought this partnership in. We don't have a lot of partnership with, with uh, community organizations, community-based organizations. And I want to, you know, Senator Torres making this happen is a, is a great thing. There's a huge, uh, diverse clinical population there that's important. And plus, Senator Torres' work in HIV and AIDS, you know, he's here as a colon cancer um, uh, advocate, I think. But really, art has been there for people with HIV and AIDS. Going back to the very beginning when the very first funding for HIV and AIDS was provided anywhere in the country through the California program that he and Diane Feinstein and Willie Brown put together. So we've got three decades of incredible work by Senator Torres. So on behalf of the community, I want to thank all right. Um, I also, just in terms of this, this particular project, I, I noticed we just approved another stem cell, uh, hematopoietic stem cell gene engineering project. We have another one in B thalassemia. This platform is really, I think, becoming uh, a major part of, of CIRM's work in the, in the clinical space. And I think what CIRM has done in advancing this is huge. We, we're also looking at sickle cell. Uh, we have a hematopoietic stem cell gene therapy project in, um, in cancer. And so this, I think the whole science team and, and really the leadership has done a tremendous job in advancing this technology. And so this is, we've got two projects in HIV in this space, and I think that this is finally maturing, and I don't know where this particular science would be without CIRM and CIRM's investment. So I think this is, is looming as, as a very good space for CIRM as we try to get results for the people of California. And then the last thing I'd like to say is that uh, I think tremendous credit goes to the patients who are going to enroll in this trial. You know, this is a phase one trial. This is a safety trial. So the people who are enrolling in the, in the, into, into this trial are, um, are taking risk, and they're really doing this for the benefit of the community. This has been the way that the HIV community has worked now for three decades. Uh, engaging in trials really to benefit the larger community. And I think as we move into the clinical trial space, it's very important that we're aware uh, and conscious. And, and I personally am very grateful for the courage of patients to take these risks merely to benefit the larger community.